Hello and welcome back. So this is big episode 22 now. Shush up, robot. I'm gonna come over here and I'm finally going to change up Ada's legs. It's going to lose a lot of carry weight for her, which in and of itself is going to kind of suck, but it'll make her more effective in combat. What are you building? So get over here, Ada. Legs. Well, I could keep her some decent carry capacity with uh, Robo Bane threads over the assault run. Yeah, I'll do that. Alright, so that should have her moving a bit better. You're and I want to hold on to other time. Whoa! She just like shrank and then grew back up to normal size. That was interesting. Way to go, Bethesda. Your game does weird things. But now that I've got her fixed where she'll be able to keep up with me better, I want to fix my T-51. Right. Oh, Gene. I can buy a dog from him. Hey there. Nice dog. But he looks fine. Don't you think he could use a playmate? You've got a deal. Oh, yeah. You sure? I mean, she's a great dog. Don't get me wrong. I just don't want to sell her to anyone who isn't going to take good care of her. I'll take good care of her. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. You look like you won't need her. Right? So, you really want a dog? Yes. I really want to buy your dog. Okay. You have some place for her to live, right? And we'll go ahead and send her to Sanctuary Hills. Uh, I guess that'll have to be okay. Okay, girl. This is your new owner. He's gonna give you a new home. Go on now. You you be a good girl. Bye-bye. I, uh... I gotta go. You take care of her, all right? He always cries so much when you buy a dog from him. Obviously a good breeder who cares about his animals. Alright. Where'd you go, Ada? She's much quicker now. She's not getting stuck on other bots. Heads up. I had to give her back the two spare cores that she's carrying Maybe for me. Uh, Dog Beat still has four spare cores. Are you kidding me? Well, I guess I'll grab whatever's on his corpse. Shouldn't be messing with my robots. They're not the greatest builds, but they are effective. Yeah, the funny thing is, I have no ammo on me right now at all. I stripped all of my ammo. Well, I guess I have 34s and shotgun cells that I've picked up, but I have no fusion cells. But you see it all pegged out. And I do have 27 free shots right now. Uh, way to go, Bethesda. Anyway, let's get in here and fix my headlamp to bright. Uh, I don't know what kind of paint job I want to do just yet. Let's see... I do prefer a targeting HUD, but I can't do that yet. So I guess I'll get recon sensors for now. Let's see, I'm 
Braxo, Sugar Bombs. Of course, I've got my classic purple. Uh, military would increase strength and give me more carry weight. Yeah, I think that'll be a good way to go. And it's giving me encumbrance damage because it feels like it. Again, it's a way to go, Bethesda. Uh, legs. I want calibrated shocks. Again, increase the carry weight. Forgot to paint that. Yeah. Need all pieces painted. To get the effect. Okay, and anything I can put on here. Blood cleanser reduces chance of her addiction. I already have a it's highly reduced chance. Which is why, despite using all the drugs, I haven't gotten myself addicted to anything. Okay, I did drop off my other bobblehead. Let's see. I can also take the suppressor off of this pistol and put it on my lucky 10 mil. and increase my mag size on that. That'll go with the long ported barrel. So there we go, that's all nice. I can't make that a 45 because I don't have what I need for it. Okay. And I don't think there's anything else I can do here. Oh, I could add a spike muzzle brake to it. Throw all those mods away. Okay, so I've got my 10 millimeter my mighty piece of junk, laser rifle, and shotgun. So let's see, 10 millimeter pistol. Now has 24 round clips. So let's just take uh, 96. That'll be four clips for the 10 millimeter. For the 38, I'm gonna carry uh, 480 rounds, just 10 clips, while well, being able to get this to grab just the amount you want is often a pain. Uh, for the shotgun shells, let's just go ahead and carry 30 of those, and fusion cells. I don't have that many left, so I'm just going to carry 54, which is two clips. Get all these reloaded. There we go. So just in my basic kit that I'm carrying now, that's 94 pounds. That's why I want be able to carry as much as possible in my power armor. And I think I'm probably going to do head hunting this time. So now that I've got everything put together, get myself rested, fed and watered. And then I'll head out towards the fort where they are. That's a pretty looking suit.
see what my stats all come up to with it now fully upgraded. Wrong button. I hit E instead of W. There is a mod I can activate that makes it to where I get in and out of power armor faster. It's really useful in times like that. Well, let's see. I can, in this suit, carry 297 pounds. Well, that all froze up for a moment. So, that is not terrible at all. And I'm going to go ahead and pause it up. I will bring it back once I'm over at uh, Fort Hagen Satellite Array. Or if something fascinating happens on the way. Alright, so I am getting very close to there. Every now and then there's problems around here, but I want to grab some junk out of this red rocket while I'm passing it. I'm hearing gunshots somewhere, but I'm also hearing the rolling around of data. Very loud in this configuration. Is that over here? I think it's over here. I guess not. Well, where we're going is back around this road over here. Keep forgetting that there's that radio tower over there. And there's probably going to be some ghouls on the way, if I remember correctly. I don't know, I usually take a somewhat different route coming through here. Doesn't look like there's anything in the bus. Nor does it look like there's any ghouls in my way. Okay. Some random hub flowers here, and that's where we're going. So let's see. How do I want to kick it off? Well, I don't like setting off the traps myself, so let's just uh, knock with a grenade. Switch to the laser rifle for turret. Yeah, it's right on you. Do you not see it? Okay, that one's down. This guy back here. There. And now he's down. What's he got? Fortifying synth uh, left arm. I really don't like the synth armor that much. Yeah, you didn't have a chance. Okay, I just picked up a piece of armor I didn't want. I'll just let them kill him off. Uh, there's some stuff back here I want, of course, off of these two corpses. Alright. 
so this is all cleaned up now. Upstairs here, there's a computer to open that down there. There's my computer. There's a suit of power armor down here that I will be coming back for, probably off camera, but I'll get everything unlocked to get into it while I'm here this trip. Ah, health. Health is a problem. So I'll just let my uh, backpack had more healing for yes, me for a few. While I drop off unneeded things. To Miss Ada. That's good enough. And I believe I, that's the one I already got. Yeah. I set these off so I can't get anything out of those. I don't think there's anything over this side at all. Oh, hub flowers. Gimme. Gimme. And some glowing fungus. Take that too. Alright. Health is good enough. Let's go kill some rust devils. Hit that last radar beacon. Oh, for the time being, let's go without. The light. Because I've got a few of them right inside the door here. that I'll have to take out very quickly. Oh, come on, load. Loading screen. And him. Great, there was a mini nuke there. Heavy ammo, yay. Man, why do I keep getting these little hitches? Shit! Oh, yay, more lag. There's my suit of X01 power armor, so I'll just go ahead and pop this lock real quick. And I've got a bunch of loot in here before I can move on. Hey, stop shoving me around. I do want to go ahead and take that fusion core, though. No one else will have a chance to nab that. Come on. 
He didn't get under me while I'm looting. I wouldn't accidentally tell you to stay. And another mini nuke. Oh my goodness. Are they gonna give me any more super heavy ammunition? I mean, I could probably handle a bit more, right? Dog meat, you are starting to become an absolute pain in the neck. You have to be more useful than you are annoying. That, that's that's your job as a companion. And you're starting to topple the other direction. And then up here, there was the one that I took out. I don't want to go down there just yet. I want to go to the one I took out. See, it's over this way. And then I go down there because that's the direction I'm going. Alright, I got thirsty somewhere along the way here. Okay. Army helmet, I'll take that. Hands, globe, that's more screws. Let's see, anything else I'm missing? Nope. Down we get. This is an extra route into where this power armor is. For me, it's extra experience for the expert lock. That didn't seem very expert. Okay, the coming fight can be incredibly difficult, depending on how you take it. Yes, ma'am. I need you to take a bunch of crap from me because things are going to get heavy enough. And let's just go ahead and throw down the weapons I don't need. There we go. And let's see. It's just the radio over there. Stairs over here. You got a little bit of junk. Blast radius has nuclear material. Loud catwalk. Typewriters. Nice Carlisle typewriters. Okay, get out of the way. Then over here, you've got a missile, a missile launcher, bottle cap, some more missiles. Alright, so now I'm going to switch back in here, go to the bottle cap mine. Thank you for shutting up. Okay. So right up here, just drop the bottle cap mine right up there. And those missiles are heavy, so I'll have fun with a missile launcher. But conversation first. You don't look like one of the Rust Devils. What are you doing here? Hunting down a radar beacon. A radar beacon? How very interesting. That's a very specific part to be searching for. And you don't look like the typical part scavenger type to me. I calculate a 98.8% chance that you're looking for the mechanist. 
If I'm correct, and I usually am, then perhaps we can help each other with our respective predicaments. I could definitely use the help. I thought you might say something like that. Now, how can I put this as simple as possible so someone at your processing speed can understand? In order to find the mechanist, you're going to need more than just my radar beacon. You're going to need access to the facility. I'm willing to provide said access, but you'll have to fulfill two simple conditions. One, you need to get me as far away as you can from these lunatics. And two, find me a new body. Once both conditions are satisfied, I'll gladly provide you with everything you need. Do we have a deal? How do I know you'll keep up your end of the bargain? Even though there's a human brain floating in a biogel inside my head, I'm still bound by my original programming. It pains me to admit it, but one of my directives states that I cannot lie. Ever. So, while I'm not the most charming robot you've ever encountered, the last thing I'm going to do is violate an agreement we've made. Now that we have that out of the way, do we have a deal? Deal. A wise decision. Once we're at our destination, I'll happily relinquish my radar beacon as a gesture of good faith. Now, I strongly suggest you stop loitering in the middle of a hostile location and get us both out of here at once. I really, really hate Jezebel. Obviously, I am not good with a missile launcher. And I don't think he's you doing so hot. Well, come on. Let's not wait around for more horrifying monstrosities. Come on, let me repair it up. Ready to get back to the action. And Sentry Ahab's hell. And coming up, we've got a nice room full of traps. Watch the trip wires. I'd rather keep myself intact today, thank you. Not that I'm very worried about a bunch of traps. Fertilizer for drug manufacturing. Uh, right here you have in this computer uh, a game automatron that the Raiders have been playing ah. now, there is a perk you can take after master locks or you never break a lockpick I find that to be a waste of time. You get plenty of lockpicks. Why would you worry about it? All right, so things are gonna get real fun in here now. You really are taking the path of most resistance here, aren't you? Yes, I am. Well, they didn't notice me right off the bat, so I'll just come over here first. Open the security door. A little bit more junk. Oh, hi. Oh, 
you're lucky that chain just took my shot. stuff in here. Nothing major at all, looks like. I didn't look at what that was. Yeah, shotgun's not gonna work at that range. Alright, and here, got a couple ammo boxes. I'm gonna drink a water. Got some traps here. Looks like they may have been set off already. Well, he's not a problem anymore. Let's see. That's all the junk in there. Some beer bottles and beer. I will take those. Like, oh. Ada, you need to take a bunch of stuff. Because I know I'm going to be over encumbered sure. soon. Go ahead and take a look. And I'm probably going to have to actually do some more on healing. Oh, hey, that yeah. was just the ammo. And yeah, I am very close to over encumbered. And I still have more stuff to pick up. And eight is now full. Guess I still have a few nice pieces along the way. Based on my limited experience with you, I estimate a 65% chance of making it out of here. Not optimal. An increase in effort could have an impact on the odds. I really don't like Jezebel. Which is why she just gets the absolute basic no armor body that I can make. This she doesn't like it. I don't care. I demand we rip her head off. It's only fair. I'm out of grenades. That's not good. Okay, that got slightly insane. Tesla stuff. I could take the rest of her T60. Uh, you know what? Yeah. I will take the rest of her T60. I can get another frame. 
However, I am now over encumbered. I'm sure I've got some things I can drop though. But there's so many good pieces of junk in here. Okay, so there's all of that. I gained a level, so I did get my level 8 charisma, so now I can get uh, inspirational. Uh, lead by example, your companion does more damage in combat and cannot hurt you. So at level 43, I'll be able to get more carry weight for my companions. That's still a ways off. Let's see. I don't need that. That. I don't have an assault rifle yet, so I'll keep that. Oh no, wait, I do have an assault rifle, but only the one. Uh, I don't know why I picked those two suits up. And there was something. Oh, it was a chameleon synth left arm, is the other uh, legendary I picked up. Over here. Well, it's a good thing I'm going to be coming back into this place, actually. I'm going to have to pick up a lot of this stuff again, like the mini nukes and fat man. I just don't have room for it. Salvage the Saltron head. This is useless or the most broken thing in the game. Really depends on what kind of build you're running. I don't need any more of that, but I'll take the ammo over here. And I will get out of here because that's this. So if you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and hit the like button down below. And bye.